When President Uhuru Kenyatta and President Xi Jinping met during the China-Africa summit, they reached an agreement on issues of education and training under which the Chinese government is going to support a thousand Kenyan students to receive undergraduate studies in the next three years. This was part of the plan to ensure sustainability of the standard gauge railway. Today, the program has kicked off with 25 students being the first batch of 60 students who have been selected to study for a degree course in railway engineering specializing in design and construction, signaling and communication and operation and maintenance. I want you to recognize the very important role that we attach to this education and learning process that you who have been given an opportunity have for this country and for this country's future. Speaking while launching the program at State House, President Kenyatta urged the selected students to commit themselves to their studies with an aim to come back with skills for maintaining the standard gauge railway project. You have been given the opportunity to help us run the future of Kenyan transport. We are counting and looking forward to receiving you back to help us work, extend and expand the existing railway while maintaining what we are already building. Chinese ambassador to Kenya Liu Xiangfa said the scholarship signaled the close relations between Kenya and China. When two presidents met in, met in Johannesburg, they instructed us to strengthen our cooperation in areas, especially in the education area. And the two presidents instru instruct instructed us to add scholarships of Kenya young people to China and the Chinese young people to Kenya. Today, I'm so happy to see this. The deal also involves revival of the Railway Training Institute, helping Kenyan universities set up railway academies and sponsoring Kenyan students to study railway courses in top Chinese universities. Jeremiah Ogola for the News of Business.